Hi and welcome back to Purple Color Lathe. We have had this MS261 now for six months and the honeymoon phase is over. Let's talk about our thoughts after six months of ownership. It's hard to believe that it's been six months of owning the MS261C and as you noticed in the earlier videos, I was always amazed at how fast this cuts, the lightweight, but now six months later, let's talk about that honeymoon phase being over. But before we talk about the saw, we're gonna do some cutting. I mentioned in a previous video, we've got some hickory here that we'd like to cut on the sawmill. Those two pieces are pretty much ready, but they're probably too long to haul anywhere to get cut on a sawmill. So we might have to cut those down in a future video. But this one right behind me is anything but straight. So this would not make a good uh, sawmill log. So instead we're gonna cut this up into firewood. It's a pretty good sized hickory and hickory can be hard to cut through. I did a video early on in the channel about measuring firewood using just the bar. And that's typically the method I've used. Now this is an 18 inch bar, but what I like to do is go from the tip to about the teeth. And that gives me my 16 inch cuts. So I don't have to use a roller with a paint gun. I don't have to use a tape measure with chalk. I can usually just do it pretty close using the bar. Let's see how we are here. 15 and seven eighths. Sixteen, pretty much on the nose, maybe a hair short. This one looks shorter. Yeah, this one's only fifteen even, so that one's a little short. And then that one, again, just about sixteen, maybe fifteen and a half. So, pretty quick method of just eyeballing it using the length of the bar from the edge of the dog to the tip of the bar. I said in a previous video we might want to take this big long straight stretch over to Jay for his chainsaw sawmill. Let's see how long this one is. Twenty feet five inches. This comes out to 20 feet, five inches by about 24 inches diameter at the larger side. And about 17 inches diameter at the narrow end. So pretty nice straight piece of hickory here. Obviously I can't haul something 20 feet long um, in the back of my truck and I'd have trouble even getting it into a truck. 
So what I'll probably do is cut this into two 10 foot sections in the future. Sixteen foot ten inches by thirteen. You go this way, fifteen. reason this is called shag bark There's some of those boar bugs. I set the chainsaw here for probably less than two minutes to take a picture, a possible thumbnail picture, and look at all the oil just in those couple minutes that it leaked on this piece of hickory. And you can even see it leak down through into the bark. When people talk about the honeymoon phase of something, they're talking about that phase, whether it's in a relationship or with a new purchase or a new car. They're talking about the fact that in that term, you only see the great things about something or someone. And then once the honeymoon phase is over is when you start to pick up on the things that might annoy you a little bit or the things you hadn't noticed previously when something was new or in the honeymoon phase. So there was definitely a honeymoon phase for the MS-261. This was my first ever professional grade saw. It cuts faster than any saw I've ever owned. I did a video about why I bought the 261 versus the 500i and a lot of you have questioned since that point, do I ever wish I had got the 400 or the 500i? The answer to that is no. For my use, for the, the logs that I'm cutting 90% of the time or more, the 261C with an 18 or 20 inch bar does everything I need it to do. It's nice and lightweight, which I really like about it. So why is this video titled The Honeymoon Phase is Over? Well, I mentioned in a previous video about how this saw leaked oil, seemingly, whenever I set it down on the floor in the garage or anything for a certain period of time. Well, this saw uh, has been sitting for a month in its case, and let me put some footage in here. When I opened the saw case up this morning, I have an extra chain in there and I immediately noticed that box the extra chain was in was just saturated with oil. The rag that I always leave in the bottom of the chainsaw case, A, to collect a little bit of oil if it would drip, and B, because that's the rag I use for wiping down the saw when I'm all done, that rag was totally soaked with oil. And when I lifted the saw up out of the case, it was dripping as if it had been sitting in molasses, dripping oil off the bottom. And the case had a good quarter inch or more of oil the whole way across the bottom of the case, especially in those divot points. 
Now when I flip the, the side of the side here to fill up with gas and oil, my gas was just over halfway full from the last time I used it. The bar and chain oil was empty. So yes, there is something wrong with this saw that it's leaking all that bar and chain oil. I know some of you have said take it back to the dealership and I am going to do that because I know it's not supposed to do that. I didn't want to take it back in the middle of winter time when I do the majority of my cutting. But now that it's the start of spring and I've got a ton of mowing to do, landscaping, got a lot of projects to take care of, I probably won't be using the saw for a month or so. So it makes sense now to take it into the steel dealer, explain the problem to them, and then have them take a look at it and see what can be done to keep it from leaking all its bar and chain oil. There's still a countless number of things I really like about the MS261C. Absolutely no regrets in buying this saw. But I kind of tolerated that oil leak and didn't think it was a big deal in the honeymoon phase. Now that we're outside the honeymoon phase, we'll get it looked at, get it taken care of. I'm sure it's just something minor that they can fix at my local steel dealer. They always do a great job. This hickory is very heavy. It'll be another excellent reason why I have the log lift. on both of my split fire splitters. This does still have those boar beetles in it. So we're gonna let it sit here in the woods a little ways away from the rest of our firewood. And then we'll split it and stack it in a separate spot. Hickory is just beautiful wood. That's why we did it for our flooring. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and entertaining, about the six month update of the honeymoon phase being over on our MS261C, leave those comments down below. And I have watched several videos about why that may be leaking and some possible fixes. This saw still is under warranty, so I'll take it back to the steel dealership and let them monkey with it before I bring it home and start something just watching a video on YouTube. They're the experts. This is, like I said, still under warranty. We'll let them take care of it. I'm sure they'll get it figured out and get it right back to me. Thanks for watching. Leave those comments down below. Hopefully we'll see you again the next time. I probably should have brought a heavier duty skid up. You probably heard as I was setting these down, almost every single one of those cross beams cracked and it's not perfectly level. Got a pretty good size crack there in the bottom, the base of the skid. I let the case sit upside down in the sun for a little bit and the bulk of the oil drained out but you can see it's still wet i will put the chainsaw back in here just so it's not leaking oil all over the floor on my cement but this is definitely on my priority list to get this saw taken into the dealership